I'm Christian Harloff. And I'm Tiffany Smith, and this is our special Halloween episode. So we've got... <laughs> <laughs> For this episode, we have the star of Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, Sarah Dumont. And this is Movie 3D. <laughs> <laughs> Movie 3D! I know what I read you to read you the them. I think that was, that was, that was good. Thank you so much to Sarah Dumont for joining us. Of you course. have your big movie coming out tomorrow, The Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Yeah. I wanted to make you feel at home because you've been around zombies a lot on your movie set. So. Well, you, I feel really at home. Doesn't she look so good? I don't feel like I want to touch you, but no, I feel should. at home. It was really weird that she did it all by herself. I thought it was a little fangirlish, but whatever. Uh, I well, story. let's not even talk about that, Christian, because I do believe you were supposed to have zombie makeup too. So we just want to hear a little bit about it from you. Without giving any spoilers, what was your favorite part of the production? My favorite part part is was just the stunts. I like doing stunts and I'm total tomboy. I, I love doing stunts and like watching shit blow up, but then also working on a comedy set and just constantly pranking each other and goofing off and having a good time. A little bit of like say um, Zombieland as yeah. well too with that, that mix of the horror Somewhere. with comedy. Is that why is what attracted you to the role was the comedy as well? Um, what attracted me to the role was Denise who I play is actually very strong and independent and is sure of herself and whoops ass and, and saves the boys instead of being that typical like horror movie like oh my god my shirt's wet and then I died. Ah. Any more questions? Can, can we do something about his face? She went all out, I feel very comfortable, I'm in a zombie mood, it's Halloween, and then here you are. I mean, what is your costume, a dork? I feel like you need just a little something, you know? You can just, she be on the show all the time? <laughs> oh, great, oh, awesome, beautiful. look at this. What did you, oh, now what did you do, what did you do Yay. last week for your, you remember that when you lost last week? Remember that? We had a really busy episode, oh, so. Oh, see, 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 we were teammates no, last see, week. Now, see, now I'm feeling slightly more it's better. It's now. kind of like Harry Potter Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> You know what can make me feel better in this scenario? Let's well, no, talk about the weekly wager. I love the weekly wager. You know why? Because I usually win. I'm actually aware of the weekly wager last week, and it was about the revenues of The Last Witch Hunter, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You went for 13.5 million, and you went for 12.5. Yes. Turns out for The Last Witch Hunter, the actual box office revenue was 10.8 million, which means I, I am the winner, winner and Tiffany. This week's punishment comes from one Mom, mom. This week's punishment comes from one of our YouTube viewers, Johnny B45, who says a loser should has to eat a bowl of fried crickets. Johnny B, by the way, second punishment that you have submitted, buddy. You submit some great punishments. You're and a this sick motherfucker. Looks so tasty. I feel like Bradley Cooper and Burnt. This is really I wish good stuff. If Bradley Cooper was cooking this for me, uh, he would be, it would more be excited. Uh, Way more tempting to eat. All right, so tasty, Tiffany. So lovely. Look at the whole bowl. Here we go. All right, are you ready, my love? Thomas the Train, toot toot. Toot toot toot. toot. <laughs> ah, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. It's not that bad, is it? Tastes like sunflower seeds. Okay, then it's have three. Bad. No. Weekly wager for next week. All right, let's bet on Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. You better bet high, motherfuckers. I'm standing right here. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say 8.4 for, for Zombie Apocalypse. Tiff? I want to win. <laughs> what do you say? One dollar. <laughs> I'm, go, I'm going six, seven. You're going to still be nice to her? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I told don't you. I want to eat crickets again. I, 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 I set it up. Listen to but her. Hashtag loser should in the comments below on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, and make us both be way wrong and go see this movie a shit ton this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get today's topics. Okay, Sarah, in honor of you being here today and us trying to find out exactly how to survive a zombie apocalypse, our crew put together a little mm -hmm. survival pack behind you there. Uh, um, this one? I, yeah, that one right there. I want to see in that backpack. Oh, it's a little heavy. They were really impressed with themselves. They were okay. very excited. Well, so. well let's, let's see how good they did. Okay. First up, a plastic clarinet. Not a good start. Your, your fiber one here. bars in, in case you need to like load up and then shit your pants because this is the only thing that the pussy that packed this bag is going to be doing. Hey, they're trying their best. Grease what is lightning that? DVD. This could be very useful. Very heavy can of you know peas. Our our crew pretty much just watches zombie apocalypse. Chili, movies. another <laughs> another ingredient of shitting your pants. Next, uh, this is never gonna happen for anyone on this set. 
All right, Hold you're it. never gonna need these. That is wishful thinking. Hand but wipes? you know, I I, I like where you're, these these are condoms. Who I don't know. brought a packet of condoms to the office today? All right, this is by far my favorite. If you get tied up in a little like Costco warehouse, we got hours to kill. Uno is always a good bet. Sarah, what would you rate this uh, this kit? Is there more yeah. in there? On, on a one to ten? Yeah. Four things. Diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I know our survival kit was pretty sucky, but something pretty. awesome that we did do is we've got some real weapons in a new segment that we like to call Movie Three Some Labs. Yeah. Woo Fun. Whoa, I'll tell you this. Okay, now we actually have real weapons. So for you, because I feel like you're the most defenseless, I'm Thank gonna you. give you the most badass weapon mm -hmm. that oh, we have here. Very Army of Darkness, just like Ash. Just keep it away from my face. Our crew out there, they have set up pumpkins. I'm gonna go wreck them. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit anything else. And you guys talk it, yeah. Just yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, okay, go do it. Keep that facing away from us. I hate both of you. Is he sweating? He, the gym. he doesn't go work out. He really needs to work out. I mean, this guy is clearly flabbergasted. Fuck her! You should see a doctor. His blood pressure might be all right. I'll tell you what, watching Star Wars is not a good workout. Okay. Because <laughs> you're a badass. Yeah. There's a machete. See, now that's how you do it. What was that? that is, no, no, look, what, what was, was that? Get it, girl! Get ago. it! Unbelievable. Get up! <laughs> all right, all right, she's already done. Yeah. Have you seen 20 Days Later? They took notes from her. Oh, That's how it's done. I want to do one more, though. I just okay, want to try okay, one no, more. Okay, no, you can do one more, I but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose right. for you. Hammer. This is a very special weapon. My me mom made it. She's a very talented person. So, Do you have any ahead. marshmallows? Can I roast by a fire somewhere? What is this? Sometimes in a zombie apocalypse, you don't always get what you want, right? All right, let's go. You can do it. Yep. He's not going to do shit with that, is he? <laughs> what is he doing? <coughs> He's having way too much fun with the scarf and pumpkins. I don't. I just. Why don't we just wrap up the show? I think that's a good call. Okay, very good call. Yay! Thank you so much to Sarah Dumont for joining us. And make sure you guys check out her movie in theaters tomorrow, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, and follow her on social media, Dumont Sarah. And while you're here, make sure you check out more videos right over there and subscribe. And don't forget, you guys, download the Fandango Movie Clips app on your smartphone so you guys can see us next week on Movie oh. Threesome! Ah. What uh, the? I mean, I gotta give him some points. I really didn't think he had it in him.